Hi, I'm James Archer from the ShareLingo Project. Okay, uh, you do not have to listen to this video. You can just click the button below and download this simple guide, uh, which explains seven simple ways for you to start on your Spanish journey or continue on your Spanish journey. But if you want to hang on with this video, uh, I'm going to explain a few things about what it is that you're downloading and why it's important. So first of all, why it's important. I'm going to do that reverse, all right? If you want to speak a second language, you probably have some motivation for doing that. It's either something you've wanted to do your whole life, or maybe you are a school teacher and you talk to Spanish-speaking parents, or you're a nurse and you have patients, or you want to travel and not be afraid of where you are or where you're going, or can you get back to your hotel. Uh, you've probably tried some things to speak Spanish in the past, and maybe it was difficult. Well, uh, we want to make that process a lot simpler for you. My own story is this. About three or four years ago, I decided I wanted to start learning Spanish. Um, and many reasons why I picked Spanish instead of Italian or French or whatever, but I chose Spanish. And today, I am fluent. If you don't believe me, listen to this. Hola, yo soy James Archer de Proyecto Xilingo y yo puedo hablar en español. Yo puedo hablar con fluidez y no necesito pensar antes de hablar. Realmente yo puedo hablar. And what that meant was, um, hi, I'm James Archer from the Sharelingo Project, and I really can speak Spanish fluently. I don't have to think of what I'm saying in my head before I talk, right? I don't have to translate. You can do that too. All right, what are the steps? Well, to speak a second language, you need two things, two big things, foundation and practice. Foundation is your vocabulary and your grammar. Of course, you need those things, right? You can't say, have a nice day, if you don't know the word for day. Um, you can't say, good morning, unless you know the word, you know, unless you know how to say that. That's vocabulary, all right? All right, uh, the good news is that you can get these in a thousand places. These are everywhere. Everywhere. So this is what you focus on when you're doing um, Rosetta Stone and Duolingo and community college and most language schools, they're going to really pound in the vocabulary and grammar. YouTube videos and those types of things, yes. All right. Um, the second thing you need, though, is practice. And that's broken down and you need listening practice and speaking practice. Well, speaking practice, uh, you need to find somebody to speak with. Uh, we can help you do that, but that's not why we're here today. But this listening practice and uh, diving in and getting that, that's just as important. Why? Well, imagine yourself. You're, you're, you've, you've studied some Spanish and you, you practice and you've learned some things like buenos dias and como estas and um, tengo hambre, which is um, good morning, how are you, and I'm hungry. Um, and, and so you take yourself off to Cancun or Costa Rica or someplace, and the first thing that happens is they start talking, and they're like da 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 da, and you go what? Okay, and one of the first words, uh, first phrases that we learn is mas despacio por favor. Little slower, please. Mas despacio por favor. Little slower. Actually, it means more slower, please. Okay. Uh, hola, ¿cómo estás? Okay. You need to tune your ear to the Spanish language, to the music, to the lilt, to the, to the cadence of the Spanish language. All right? It's one thing to pick up the vocabulary and grammar. It's another thing to practice speaking. You definitely need that. But one of the most important things you can do is just, and it's so simple, you just invest some time in listening practice and immersing, immersing yourself into the language so that, um, like if, uh, one of the things we're going to teach you in this guide is just for 10 minutes a day, listen to Spanish-speaking radio. And I don't mean Spanish-speaking music, I mean like Spanish-speaking news. Uh, there's a website called News in Slow Spanish. You might try that, for example. Um, but if you can, just listen at a normal pace. And it's okay if you understand almost zero. 
that's okay because what you're really doing is you're, you're picking up the, the lilt of the language. So what you want to do is get to where you can pick out individual words and hear the breaks between the words. Then you can go look them up. If you, if you need to learn more vocabulary, you can go look them up. But your goal right now is to do that, that listening so that you can pick out those individual words. And it's so easy because there's so many ways for you to do it. Um, and we want to tell you these, all these you know, simple ways to get started in this guide. So just download it right now and just do it and get going. Start today. Achieve your goals. Achieve your, your dreams. You know why you want to speak Spanish. Now jump into this and go ahead and do it. All right, I've talked enough. I'm James Archer from the Sharelingo Project, and uh, our goal is to help unite communities uh, by bringing English and Spanish speakers together. We're starting this process of giving away some of these free lessons because that's really part of our mission, is to help connect communities. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call um, or visit us online, sharelingo.org or sharelingo.com. And we have a few other things as well. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Muchas gracias a todos. Um, y que le vaya bien. Ciao.